Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Ellen. So today I thought we'd do something a little fun, a little easy to get out of our Christmas funk. Let's do some abstracts. We're going to be using a credit card, paintbrush, paints. This is a great opportunity to play with paints that you just got maybe over Christmas. You want to play with new colors, you know, experimenting with like color theory a little bit. Um, you know, just doing wet on wet, all that good stuff. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Let me know if you'd like to play with abstracts. Like I said, this is any skill level. Kids can do this. Or anybody who's a beginner can do this, or even intermediate and advanced, because you just add different elements. Maybe you just concentrate more on like one color, like you see on the right-hand side, you see more um, warm tones. On the left, you see more primaries, things like that. If you have any questions, again, please leave them in the comment section. Con comment section. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon. I have ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials, and a live stream on the top tier. It's just the place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. So without further ado, let's get painting some abstracts. Let's have some fun. Let's get out of our funk. Let's get into some good times. All right, so let me go over supplies for this tutorial. I have two pieces of Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper, like four by six. I basically took one of my big sheets and folded it in half and folded it in half again. I have two pieces of a cardstock in black for the card. You don't want to use real expensive arch paper for every part of the um, card. Just like you can mount this on any color you want. I have black. It can be any color you want. Um, but black is really great. It's like a nice frame for um, any kind of painting, you know. So um, I think it's very neutral kind of color to use. Gray would be nice too. Uh, but if you want to use a bold color, use a bold color, use whatever you want. So we'll put those aside. Um, for the paintbrush, just really just a simple like big brush. Like I'm going to use my 12 uh, Aqua Elite because it's really not an exercise in like painting per se. Just getting you used to playing with color and shape and just, you know, the abstract part of it is just, move, you know, playing with color and all that nonsense. And of course, you're going to need some credit cards, like cut up credit cards or you could use cardstock or something sharp. Uh, I have cut up credit cards here in various sizes. It helps if you have a small size like this, you know. And then tube paints. Why tube paints work better than pan paints for this particular exercise? Because we're going to use the paint right out of the tube. So, and then it's nice to have a, a we're going to need a spray bottle um, for water. We're going to be spraying this. And. Yeah, we can even use an alcohol spray bottle if you want to play around with some like alcohol. And you can play around with some, you know, inks. Um, I have acrylic inks here and white and brown. Play around with all that stuff. I'll just move one of these pieces aside. We'll start with one of them. So I had this really kind of fun idea. As you can sound by, tell by my voice, I'm still kind of out of it. Um, Work-wise, I can't think of like real intense stuff to do, so I have to do some really fun, easy stuff. Um, an abstract is the best thing to do to get you in that mood of like just playing with color and paper and brushes and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to take one of my little credit cards here, and I have this new color, well not new color, I've had it for a while, I've been using it a while because now we're out of Christmas, but it's fun of um, playing with cadmium red light, this is a nice color, uh, any kind, this is a good exercise to play with new paint colors that you might have gotten over the Christmas break or holiday break, Hanukkah, whatever Christmas. Um, and so I'm just going to take the actual credit card itself, like the corner of it. I'm going to run it through. It might need to get a little bit wet because remember this, this paper has a tooth to it. See on the edge here, tapping in to paint and we just start doing some lines. Now I have no rhyme or reason. See a line. And then we can crisscross lines also. It's kind of thick paint. And then you can cross. If you need to get a little bit wet, do so. Just I'm gonna dip this in my water. Now it's wet. A little probably easier to move the paint on the card. See I'm just making these little crisscross lines mostly in the top one-third area here. This kind of reminds me of a sculpture my father used to have in the house. Very 1960s. To the crisscross lines. You can see those up close. 
Again, you don't have to use the colors that I'm using. Play around with the colors that you have, that you've been curious about. So maybe I'll stick with like a Mondrian theme here. If you don't know who Mondrian is, he's a famous artist um, who did a lot of primary colors with basically simple squares, rectangles. So there I have my red. I can go into the yellow. So now that I talked about Mondrian, I might as well continue with the colors. He did primary colors. You will see the Museum of Modern Art. It's just very difficult to move in this paper because it has a tooth to it. But this is kind of a kind of fun. This is something you could do with your grandkids, your kids. I mean, maybe you don't want to use their exp your expensive watercolor with the kids, <laughs> but you could use some cheap tubes. And they might really appreciate this. This is becoming a you know, becoming a very modern fine artist. Now, I've got the yellow there. I'm going to play around with some blue. Uh, I have ultramarine blue here. You know, obviously when yellow and blue mix, they become green. These two together are not a pretty color. <laughs> um, it's like a muted meh green. So I'm doing some blue. Same thing with the red. Because, you know, orangey red. So let's just start with that. We've got a few in there. Now, we're going to take our spray bottle. Right? You can hold it like on an angle if you want. Like this. Let's start to spray it. It's a little drippy. You can move it this way. Now while I have the brush also, see it dripped on, excuse me, I'm sorry, I moved this over here. I'm gonna grab my paper towel real quick and lift up all this drippy paint here. So it's kind of dripped in here. And now at this point, you grab your brush. All right, you might wanna move some of that paint around with your brush. I'm cleaning off my brush as I move the paint so I don't want the paint to turn into brown see I'm just kind of pushing the paint on its side oh look at that it's just experimenting I'm just slightly pushing the paint up just touching those edges See where the paint wants to go. See, so watch, watch, watch what happens when that yellow goes into that blue. It's just like green. Kind of like mopping it up. Still have a primary color here. Now I'm going to go over here. I'll clean up my brush with some water. I'm just going to move this paint around a little bit. And you might say, well, why did you even bother putting the card card, the paint in the first place? You should see how thick the pigment is here. And then you can just kind of play with it, moving it around. Add some water. Because why not? <laughs> is what I say. Um, I didn't mention other tools you could use. You could use a nib or a twig, kind of scrape paint too. Right, let's try a little scraping. Look at this. I just moved all that around. Very abstract. Definitely have the primary color thing going. So at this point, you can start to play with lifting it up and adding paint. So I might grab my yellow, water it down, and kind of drip it. see what happens when it mixes into the, the different paints. Hold it on its side, dripping it down. You could add some uh, peacock blue to that, a nice bright yellow chartreuse green. 
going to play with that, I'm just tapping my brush. See, the credit card left those big pigments. It's kind of fun to play with that kind of stuff. Still very light on the paper here. Maybe in the center I'll add, I've got some Prussian blue, so I'm making a darker green. We're just playing here, playing today. Um, just tap it and see what happens. Maybe add some more Prussian blue. And just keep tapping in this area. And I can kind of move that around also. Maybe more blue. Just feel like putting a big circle here. Your eye is going to gravitate towards that, doesn't it? Just kind of play around with moving that color. You can take the yellow right on your brush and watering it down a little more. I'm adding it right in there. Very wet. Moving this paint around. Moving the paint around. Abstract is all about play, color, having fun, moving some of this green around. Still have this big old blob here, huh? <laughs> we have to do something about that. Gonna grab some brown, mix in with that blue, gonna put something up here. So now my eye isn't just right there, it's gone here, it's moved here, right? Maybe move it up here. You see, you want your eye to move around the paper. Flip it around. I'm gonna grab ultramarine blue. Water this down. Oops. Let's see. Play with that a little bit. Move this paint around. Maybe just put it in a square. Mix in with that other paint there. See, this is how, kind of how you play around with paint. And I'm gonna go add some down here. Mm, the line over here. See? Think of like rectangles, squares, circles. This little green guy. Hmm. Let's add that chartreuse around it. Why not? Now the paper is kind of buckling at this point because it's very wet, but that's okay. Now, I decided that I was gonna keep this blob and use that play around with maybe the alcohol spray. Let's see, it kind of repels it. Look at that, interesting. Then you could take some of the inks, Liquitex ink, I have a brown here. I wouldn't use a nice brush for this. I'm gonna grab one of my other old, find one of my old crappy brushes. Tip it in here, do a little tap tap. See, splattering. starting to get there for me. I'm liking the red. It's still kind of playing around. This is the things you think about color, color. Maybe I don't like this guy so much. Can I lift it? You can lift. I would lift with a little stiffer brush. I have this Filbert brush, it's pretty stiff. If you want to lift the paint, clean water, twisting it. lift out the color. Interesting. Right? Just made a nice circle on there. Could do some shapes in here, like little lines. These are things you can play with. Make it more interesting. Lifting up the color. So what I'm doing is grabbing water, 
lifting, tapping on the paper towel, lifting the paint. I have a few tutorials on that. This is still damp in here. We can play around with adding in some ultramarine blue or even some peacock blue because it's brighter. Little dots and some lines. I love abstract because it's, there's no rules. <laughs> you can't screw it up. You cannot screw it up. I know people say to me, oh, it doesn't come out right. Sure it does. You can't screw it up. I'm going to just take that blue and kind of push it over here a little bit. And lift up some of that color. You know, it has a nice bleed in here. Again, with my scraper tool. Kind of loving that. The expression of the scraping. And you can still go back in with your little credit card. I'm going to grab some more of this red. And it's damp. And play around with adding that back in. That's why I love abstract. And then when it dries, you can even add more, like, you know, if you want to add more lines, um, take a smaller brush, like an eight round, long round. And if you grab some brown, mix with this green, do some circles. Really kind of thin. circles. This is great. You can play with some gold if you want. And that's just one thing you can do like with the credit card. And it doesn't have to have any rhyme and reason what it is, right? Um, like I said, it's just playing. And this green. Maybe some green up in here. If you start to see shapes, when it dries, you can actually go paint over it. Just fill in some areas that are shapes. See? I'm just doing some simple squares. And then go on top of that, on top of that, on top of that. For that layering glazing technique. Which I'm actually, now that I'm feeling this out, as I'm playing, because I like to paint and play, paint intuitively. I think I'm going to do some more of that when I when this dries. I'm going to go back over to it and uh, paint some more squares or rectangles. So I'm going to leave this for now. That's our first one. We're going to leave. We're going to come back to that one. Now this one you could have them coordinate. You don't have to have them coordinate. I'm just going to clean up my mess for a bit. Now I had that credit card going in the top and the bottom maybe have this one more central like right in the center right think about composition i'm going to probably put some more red down on my palette and grab my credit card where did you go okay here we went really think about the center Really just concentrate everything in the center. That's how my plan is. And then leave kind of the outside area. So I have red. I'm going to add yellow. lines that's all these are lines back and forth up and down 
Okay. Now, before we sprayed, let's not spray this time. Let's just start to take the brush and add the white, I mean, add the, <laughs> add the water. Excuse me. Still working on my brain cells today. I got a water on this brush. I'm just tapping it right near the color. See, on the one side. Really just kind of slightly tapping it. Pushing it down like this. And then go back and clean my brush off. Tap it. Look how cool that is. If you want to turn it, do the same thing. Tapping, cleaning off my brush. Tapping. Isn't that cool? Just kind of go like this. I need to do it again. Look how cool that is. I'm cleaning off my brush, tapping on the paper towel. So I don't, I don't, well, you know, red and yellow don't make mud, but I might want some clean water, see? That's gone down a little bit. I want to remove some of that because I want to keep it centric. Isn't that pretty cool? I put a lot of water over here. I'm just removing some of it. And I've gone in the middle now. And you can see, see like a thick amount of pigment left from where the credit card hit. I think it's fun to do something like this. You might say this is silly. And that's the point. I'm going down this way. Good things to think about. If you are very stuck with like, I want to do something abstract, I don't know where to begin. This is a beginner abstract. You just take a tool like the credit card, make those lines, and then just kind of take your brush, a big one. And see, I'm just kind of moving the paint around. Now, it's all kind of a square thing happening here. I'm going to just kind of like water the edges all right look at that look at that funness isn't that cool i just love Way that came out. Really simple. What a cool effect, though. Now, if you did this really large, that would be really pretty. And I can think about the colors, right? I feel like if I touch this, I'm going to ruin it. I kind of love this look. And it's up to you. You can go nuts. Maybe I had to touch of yellow. Maybe I'll destroy it. I don't know. Playing around with a little bit of yellow. Tapping a little bit. Just want to add a little more fun. <laughs> Some color out here. But I kind of love this. Now, if you did it on a big scale with a bunch of multicolors, you know, rainbow tones, 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 tunes. <laughs> oh, please. Um, you know, that'd be great. I might think I'm going to add some pink here. I have bright rose. Let's see what happens. It's very damp now, so it's going to be a little fun to just see what happens if I add a pink in there. Because remember, I got the hot colors now. They're all like red and all yellow. Hmm. And you may say to yourself, why did she mess with it? But see, because they're hot, I think I could. And I did. Woo. That was unexpected. Blob. But I'm loving the pink. It changed the, the tones. 
completely the feeling of this picture. So yeah, playing with the credit card, just playing with the water itself. So now I'm going to go back in with the water and mush this around a little bit. Mm. Just the subtleness of that pink. And that one's really bright up in here. So it did it's mostly centric and then going, adding a few, going off the top and the bottom. But I really, really, really love this. So you could do this in these nice hot tones or cool tones. Really pretty. I love it. That was really simple and it's just like a nice look to it, doesn't it? I'm gonna grab a little pink on my brush. Manipulating it without the credit card situation. A little more pink. A little more pink. <laughs> I feel like it just calls for it over here. I don't know why. Isn't this cool? It's just going down. It's very therapeutic, by the way. I don't have much energy to paint something really serious, but this, look at that. See, it's still very damp. Wow, look at that. I see it's a, see? Just take your brush and move it just so slightly. And you have this really kind of cool technique. Now it got a little dry over here, so I'm gonna just take my brush, get a little wet, and manipulate it just a little bit. Okay, I don't know if I should bother touching it much more. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow, keeping it in the these bright, wonderful hot tones. Okay, I think I'm gonna screw it up if I touch it anymore. I think how cool that would look on black or even bright pink. Just really simple. You could scrape it too if you wanted to. I'm not gonna touch it. I think it's just a whole different kind of look than the first one we did. So I'm gonna leave that, let that dry. And the first one should be somewhat dry and we can go back and play around with adding in, like I said, if you wanted to add some more so here's the ultramarine blue. Layering with squares. Once you do the first kind of wild layer, that's what I call it, the wild layer. Going in and adding a chartreuse color here. You can go back in and see, it just changes it. Simple lines, stripes, just adding that chartreuse stripe, like a stripe there and a stripe here. So you do some crazy stuff all in the background. And then you water this down. And then you just come back in and put in some rectangles and squares. And then that looks really kind of pretty. That's all that abstract is, is just playing with color and shapes, all that fun stuff. I'm gonna keep the red kind of there. I might start to tend to play around with just the blues. Here's the nice peacock blue. It's very surprising sticking in here. Just doing simple lines. These things I just want you guys to play with. You know, if you're stuck, you've been burnt out, you painted a million Christmas cards. Oops, that's really bright, bright, bright. Ultramarine blue. Which works also very fine, actually. I'm just That little mistake that I made, actually. Hmm. I don't like it. See the little lines? 
Let's, why not? That's how we do it. Abstract is the key. <laughs> and then get that chartreuse color. I'm going to add some peacock blue, get a nice bright green. Circles and squares, squares and circles, all that fun stuff. Okay, right on top of that, I'll go back and grab my little red here. Ooh, I love it. Very eye catching that bright red. Going right up in here. I don't want to fuss too much, too, again, with this one. Might do some little dots going down here. But this is just all about play. See, you want to cross while it's damp. Very interesting. The dots. And they bleed into each other. That's kind of cool, too. So there you go. Just play around with the credit card, see what happens, move the paint around, right? Go back in if you want to. And hold on. Put this one on top of that one. Oh, this is just fun. It's supposed to be just fun, fun, fun. You know? Simple words here. Something to do when you're in a rut. Um, if you're in a rut and you don't know what to paint, if you don't feel well, like me, and you just want to play with color, do that. And this is just little um, ideas for you to you know, break out of that rut and get into color. And think about shapes. I mean, you could spend a whole day painting shapes. I'm not kidding you. Circles and squares, elephant colors. Play around with warm tones, cool tones, you know, primary colors, secondary colors, tertiary colors. All that fun stuff. Play with all, all that color theory kind of stuff. And you, you, you'll see things a little differently. And then you're playing with color more. Then you don't paint things like, okay, here's an apple and it's red. Well, no, let's paint the apple. It's got some green in it and some red in it. Maybe a little orange, you know, throw all that stuff in there. So I hope this was a little fun for you. Um, I wanted to do a video and that was just, you know, relaxing and easy and no stress. And so today we'll just paint some abstract cards. Let me know if you have any questions and if you like more doing these kind of little techniques and fun stuff. Credit cards are fun. You can grab, you know, break them up, play with them, do all kinds of stuff. You know, you can use them to scrape also. Just these little techniques, like you're just starting, and you can still see the pigment, the thick pigment, which I love. And I imagine doing a really big painting of this. This is a tiny painting, just to give you an idea. But if you had a big, like a nine by 12, and you did a whole bunch of nice, beautiful colors, and you just slowly took your brush and played with that, it would be fantastic. It would be a really pretty painting. Um, even really big size, you know, like a 16 by 20. Go for it. That way you don't feel like you're screwing anything up, right? <laughs> On a big size. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you haven't hit the bell notification, please do so. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.